The day is November 10th, 2007, and there will be some shocking news that will break every hip hop fan's heart. Rapper Kanye West and other celebrities will be here in Oklahoma City later today to remember his mother. Donda West died earlier this month after complications from cosmetic surgery. After this, Kanye will proceed to go on a mental spiral that resulted in him nearly committing suicide, dropping an album that would change the course of hip hop, and will also be the reason for his mental episodes today. So let's take a deep dive and see the exact point where Kanye lost himself. For everyone wondering, this is the old Kanye. The George Bush doesn't care about black people, Kanye. First of all, George Bush doesn't care about black people. Please call. In the past few days. Kanye was a real mama's boy. And he always took time to thank his mother for every album. Donda West wasn't just Kanye's mother, though. She was his biggest supporter and essential figure in his life. Born July 12, 1949. Donda was an accomplished English professor and the chair of Chicago State University. She later became Kanye's manager, helping to shape his career from the very beginning. From a young age, Kanye was deeply influenced by his mother's passion for education, culture, and music. Their bond was unbreakable, a bond that would shape Kanye's artistry and his life. Kanye's career skyrocketed in the early 2000s after the release of his first album and personally my favorite album, College Dropout, with hits like All Falls Down, Jesus Walks, and Through the Wild, with Donda being there every step of the way, offering guidance and support. Because of the newfound success, Kanye would start to adopt a confident and bubbly persona, which Kanye himself even admits, saying shortly after the College Dropout became a success, that he began to act for the now ever-present cameras that followed him, and those cameras would unfortunately be the thing that would cause Donda her life. With Donda now being in the bright light of Hollywood, she felt as if though since she was with Kanye to every event, she would have to look the part and adapt to the Hollywood image. So, she decided to have cosmetic surgery done so she can obtain a body that was suitable for the cameras. While on a search to find doctors that would help her with her request, she found it hard to get accepted for any procedures, due to the fact that she had multiple pre-existing conditions that would make her high risk for complications. But lo and behold, there would be one doctor out there by the name of Dr. John Adams that would agree to have the procedure done, despite all of the health risk. Evidently, despite other surgeons not wanting to do one surgery, John Adams agreed on doing three total surgeries on her in just one day, with those being liposuction, breast reduction, and a tummy tuck. As reported by John Adams, everything went well in the surgery, and there weren't any complications. Adams was also said to have told Donda to stay at a medical facility to properly recover from her surgery, but she refused, saying that she had already had family members at home who were ready to take care of her post-surgery, with one of those people being her nephew, Stefan Scoggins, who was a registered nurse. After coming home from surgery that night, Stefan would look after Donda, making sure she was properly taken care of, and at this point, Donda had felt fine. It wasn't until the next morning where complications would start to begin. Because during breakfast, Donda would start to experience pain from the surgery. And even said to Stefan that if she knew it was going to hurt as bad as it did, she wouldn't have never had the surgeries done. Despite this, her nephew Stefan would leave. And I told her he would come back at night to check on her again. During the day, Donda started to complain about pain in her chest and trouble breathing. But since the people that she was with didn't have any medical training or experience, they would have to send out this 911 call. Fire department paramedics, what she have this emergency, please? She just had surgery, she just had breast. Uh, Give me the address first, ma'am. Ma'am? Tell me what happened. You call in. Ma'am, huh? what is the problem? Tell me exactly what happened. I can hear you. Now, what, what happened? Why are you calling? Because she's having a heart attack. She's hey. dying. She's not breathing. She's not moving. I'm trying to do CPR. Ma'am, how old is this person? She's, she's 58 years old. 58? She's had surgery. Okay, 58. Now, you're doing CPR? Do we get ready to Ma'am, is she not she's breathing at all? We get her medication. She complained she couldn't breathe. Ma'am, okay, so she's Only not... Clammy. Ma'am, she's not, not breathing? She can't breathe. Okay, is she breathing? No, she's not. She's not breathing. No, she's got, she threw up all the black stuff around her mouth and we turned the CPR on it. Okay, so she's not breathing at all? We, she's not responding. Okay, but I want to know if she's breathing. Is she breathing she, at all? She's cold and clammy. Okay, ma'am, is she breathing? No, I said a Okay, did you need, let me go ahead and give you a, ma'am, do you need instruction on CPR? 
Tragically, on November 10, 2007, Donda West would pass away due to complications from cosmetic surgery. Following her death, everyone's attention shifted to Kanye, knowing how close their relationship was. But seemingly, right after she passed away, Kanye was scheduled to start his glow in the dark tour even though people around him told him to cancel it so he could have time to grieve. Soon after, Kanye would then call off his wedding between his girlfriend, Alexis Pfeiffer, due to his mother's death having a major negative impact on their relationship. At this point, Kanye was going through a roll of problems. I was carrying a heavy heart. Through this, Kanye would let his feelings speak through his music, releasing the single most impactful hip-hop album of all time, 808s and Heartbreak. This album was met with immediate negative opinions saying it's too emotional, this isn't Kanye, he's too soft, and the 808s don't do it for me. But despite these critical claims, Kanye's career still seemed to go to new heights. But not only that, this album would serve as the beginning of the new Kanye. This era of Kanye seen a change in his personality. Before Donna's passing, he was known for his brash and outspoken personality. But after her death, he became more introspective and reserved. He also experienced a deep sense of grief and struggle with mental health issues, which he has openly discussed in his interviews and music in albums such as My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy, Jesus, and The Life of Pablo. Another notable change in Kanye after his mom's death was his shift in focus from music to fashion. He released his collab with Nike in 2009 and started his own fashion line. Kanye's public behavior became increasingly erratic. He had several high-profile outbursts, most famously interrupting Taylor Swift at the 2009 MTV Video Music Awards. Music, so thank you so much for giving me a chance to win a VMA award. I... Yo, Taylor, I, I'm really happy for you. I'm gonna let you finish. But Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. One of the best videos of all time. Kanye would then become the most hated person in the world after these outbursts, which then sent Kanye into a deep depressive state where he contemplated suicide and even made an unreleased song named Never See Me Again, which was said to release after he died. Despite these challenges, Kanye continued to evolve as an artist and a person. He explored new musical styles, launched successful fashion lines, and became more involved in philanthropy, naming his creative content company Donda in honor of his mother. Kanye's personal life also underwent significant changes. He married Kim Kardashian, which in itself came with negative opinions due to Kim's public perception. He also became a father, finding new sources of inspiration and motivation. It all seemed right in the beginning, but soon, years later, there would be news that Kim had started to become irritated by Kanye's behavior, which later led to their divorce in 2021, with Kim going on to mark their divorce on SNL. In recent years, Kanye has gone further in his antics by his anti-Semitism claims and has even said that the death of his mother was way more deep than everyone thought. Right. I ain't taking no slice from nobody. It's God. That's the only person that I serve. My mom ain't here. My mama was sacrificed. Some people believe that over the years since Donna's passing, he has hurt his legacy more and more due to his outlandish public statements and multiple controversies. Before Donna's death, Kanye was known for his confidence, his innovative music, and his unique style. However, after a passing, many noticed a shift in Kanye's behavior and creative output. Although Kanye is still recognized today to be one of the greatest rappers and producers ever, and also having a great sense of fashion, through all of this, it can still be clear to see that his whole personality changed after Donda's death. Donda West's death was undoubtedly a turning point for Kanye West. It profoundly affected his music his behavior, and his outlook on life. While the loss was devastating, it also propelled Kanye to new heights and deeper artistic expression. Through it all, Kanye continues to honor his mother's legacy in his work and his life.